happy Wednesday, my dudes. That used to be a thing. February 28th. Day 8,067 out of 14,600. It's been a pretty good day, all in all. Um, I got to finally teach some people at work, which was dope. I haven't been, well, I haven't taught that much yet, but <clears throat> I guess I'm at a point where I've been there for long enough now that I'm actually qualified enough to start uh, start teaching people, which is kind of scary. I don't know who would trust me with that sort of responsibility, but I think we did okay. Anyways, <clears throat> so... I was watching the oil filling procedure, so we had like seven people working on a single job today, and we were changing the oil on a diesel generator, and it literally took us like two hours, an hour and a half, to empty out the oil, because there's problems figuring out which valves to turn, and not many people knew where to go, and then the other half took trying to fill, figure out how to fill it up, which was dope. Um, and then I did a upper body mobility workout, which is the first time I've done that ever. But I was just sort of stretching it out because my upper body is tight and sore. And then I went boxing for for 10 minutes. Um, and then I had two lunches, which was dope. I had two whole ass chicken breasts, so a lot of protein and carbs. I feel my stomach was feeling that one. Um, and then I was teaching, yeah, so the afternoon I spent teaching for like an hour and 45 minutes or so, just reviewing straightforward concepts, which was dope. And, you know, the one compliment that made my day today was one of the guys that I was teaching said, you're a good teacher. And I'm like, thank you. I've never been told that before, but I'll take that. Anyway. Now. Today, I finally implemented something that I just thought of yesterday. Every time I leave ship, every time I leave work, I gotta go to the gym and punch that bag for another 10 minutes. And that's how I earn my leave for the day. So hopefully we'll all start doing that, which will be dope. Um, yeah, so I was back for about 3.45. A little bit of administrative stuff, especially work on the podcast, but that's a mess honestly from about 345 to about five o'clock just disappeared it was like you know I move this around I clean up this clean out that and then it's 430 I'm like what the hell and then I'm editing for 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes and then I go down grab some supper go on call with my co-host and then edited for a bit more and then I was out bouldering into a rock climbing with two of my boys from was it 6.45 till about 8.15 so about an hour and a half it was a decent amount of climbing my forearms are not as sore as last time but they're definitely feeling it kind of sore but like anyways um yeah, that was on then I got back for about 8.45 just chatting on the phone with a friend till about 9.15. Then I was showering for half an hour. And then journal journal log until 10.15. So I got nine minutes left. Be meditating until 10.30. I should be in bed for about 10.45. Um, I'm not going to go through everything for the day. What were some of the highlights of the day? Definitely getting called it. And getting said that I was d told that I was a decent teacher was fantastic. I was really happy about that. And getting some responsibility. You know, you know you've been in a place for long enough where you actually start like being told, okay, go do that. That's your job. And you're like, oh, sick. Better not mess this up. Um, also, progress my training a little bit more so. I'm past half, what, I, I am, what is it, 31, working towards halfway done my training, but, 
definitely working definitely working bit by bit chipping away at it so um you know I was, I was sitting there talking to somebody today my co-host and i've been stressed out as hell because the last couple of weeks i've been like spiraling down and like i've been very stressed out overworked overwhelmed by design and I think I burnt out right before I went on vacation and then I went on vacation and then I literally like re-energized and now I'm ready for March and I've got a bit of a head start a little bit of momentum built back especially coming into March and I'm really excited to see what sort of growth March March holds some of the list of the things that I got on the go my OTG list podcast get my claim Get my emergency health services shifts done. Request a volunteer at another place. Request a volunteer at another place. Restart my harmonized life license and qualification program certification. So be an insurance salesperson. Life insurance investments and stuff. Get notes done for work. Finish my emergency medical training certification. Organize the mobile soccer tournament. And there's definitely a couple more that I could squeeze on there, but that's enough to keep me distracted on those. Focused on those. Or distracted. Um, I think so. Oh, yeah. Funny shit today. When I was bouldering, there's like, so there's a type of boulder called a dino, and like, you gotta like, jump normally from like hold to hold and normally it's like a decent jump and there's one that was really tricky where you're like you're like holding like this and then you like you gotta jump and then like hold against the wall right so you're holding like this and you like jump and hold like that but it's like a good eight foot jump and I fucking so you're normally like as you grab onto that you're supposed to put your feet on a little platform that's on an angle it's like wall hold up here and then like you step on this thing and I went and like I was paying attention I was concentrating on trying to get the hold that I I jumped and I completely missed the hold and just wiped out and rolled on my face and that was fucking embarrassing but it was hilarious um I was laughing like a motherfucker um yeah I was my buddies thought that was fucking nuts but I, I just I basically sat off for like 10 minutes and like that was so fucking embarrassing, but I know that there's a lot of people that have probably done that before, so that's okay. Didn't get hurt today though doing climbing. Last time I got hurt a bunch of times, but um, I'm also getting disappointed that I don't think I'm doing enough cardio. My stomach's getting a little bit big. It's not that big, but my stomach's getting a little bit big. Let's see, but. Um, yeah, I was checking. <laughs> I think it was from those freaking two lunches and then a massive supper. But yeah, I felt like I'm kind of gaining too much. But this is bulking season, supposedly. And then hopefully next month will be a bit more of a cutting time. But I also want to gain a couple more pounds. I want to see if I can hit 190. We did 181, which was dope, but I want to go up to 190, which would be super cool. But anyways. And apparently, intimidating as an interviewer? Would I be that intimidating as an interviewer if someone wants to hop on a podcast with me, ask complicated questions that people wouldn't be able to understand? Maybe. I probably would. Would I be able to get a gauge on what sort of tier of questions I could ask somebody I think I don't know anyways um that's where my mind's at tonight thanks for tuning in if you are if you aren't then you're missing out as always you're missing out some good sauce some good juice alright and if that is the way it is then that's okay you'll be watching me soon enough Maybe I do got to be more egotistical. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night.